What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk and in today's video I received a very special package from Printed Reef so we're going to take a look at what's inside. Okay so I'm really excited about what's in the box. We're going to get this thing out and take a look at it. Now as you may know I'm super excited to check out new products but I'm even more excited about 3D printed stuff within the reef aquarium hobby. There's so many different things you can do with 3D printing and I think we're seeing the beginning of it and Printed Reef is one of those companies that's printing a lot of different accessories uh, with their frag holders and their, their rock holders and uh, their mushroom cages and all their other products that they have for your reef aquarium. They're um, one of the companies that's at the forefront. So let's go to the box and see what's inside. Okay, so I've already opened up the box. We're just gonna open it the rest of the way and take a look at what's inside. There's a couple goodies in here, so let's open it up. So first of all, we have the bristle worm trap. We're gonna open up this bag and take a look at that in just a moment. Put that right up here. And then, and we have a sample pack of some of their popular products. That's really cool. And then next we have, next we have some coral frag plug, uh, the sand stands. These are really awesome. Uh, they come in, uh, there's a variety of different sizes to fit different frag plugs. So I'm gonna try this out. I think the hole up there is a little bit larger to fit uh, some of the frag plugs that were too big for the other one. So we're gonna take a look at that as well. Okay, so if you're familiar with Printed Reef, their, their packaging is awesome. I've mentioned that several times um, in an earlier video, but their reseal resealable bags, let me just open this up right here. But this is the bristle worm trap. And let me get a close up of this right here. So you can see that there are holes all the way around. So if we open up the lid, you can see that there's a little area here. Kind of reminds me of like a lobster trap. So you can see on the inside there how the holes uh, form like a cone. So the hole is smaller on the inside. So when the bristle worm goes in, he kind of falls into this area here and he can crawl around inside the box. And what is neat is that the top of this is clear so you can see inside. So if you look down inside and you see some bristle worms in there, uh, well, first of all, you know you caught some and you know it's time to take this thing out, uh, get rid of the bristle worms, and then you can put it back in your tank. Okay, so before we put this in, I noticed the other day while I was doing a water change that right under this Xenia colony, there's quite a bit of bristle worms under there. So I'm going to try to lift it up right now and see if they're still under there. And I think I'm going to set this box right there. Okay, so lifting up the Xenia here, you can see that there's a few bristle worms hanging out underneath. They move really quickly and they go right back under the sand. Now, bristle worms tend to be scavengers in the reef tank, but if they get out of hand and you need to catch them, then the bristle worm trap could be the right product for you. So there were, so there's a couple bristle worms right under there, but I don't think I moved the camera in time to get them. They kind of went right under the sand, but I'm going to put that bristle worm trap right there. Here I am placing it into the tank. Now when putting it in your reef tank, you want to make sure that you get all the air bubbles out. So you want to open it up, let the water come in or find a way to weight it down in the tank so that it sits at the bottom on the sand bed. So this is the location that I chose. Here it is sitting in its place. Now I let it sit there for a few weeks and I realized that I did not put any food inside the trap and that is the main thing you want to put some kind of food inside the trap so that it attracts the bristle worms to come in now the food that you can use uh, any kind of meaty food will attract them uh, printed reef has found success with algae wafers those work and they sit down in the trap very nicely so because i didn't put food in the trap the bristle worms were still underneath the trap but i was able to use the trap to get this guy 
Okay, so I may not have used the trap the way it was intended, but I was still able to capture this one bristle worm. Now, make sure you're wearing gloves when handling bristle worms and you'll be okay. So I'm off to try again, and this time I'm gonna use some pellets. Maybe I'll go out and get some algae wafers, but right here, it, pellets is the only thing that I had handy. So I'm gonna drop those in, and then I'll put the trap back in the tank and give it another try. And I'll report back to you guys within a few weeks. Maybe I'll do another video or I'll post something on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there and follow Printed Reef and check out all of their products at printedreef.com. Oh yeah, and before I forget, here's the sand stand that was sent to me. It has a larger opening at the top, so I can replace the sand stand that I'm using for this frag plug. You can see that it doesn't quite fit all the way down. So we'll see if it fits perfectly in this other sand stand. And yes, it does. It's a perfect fit, nice and snug. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. If you have any questions about printed reef, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. But if you wanna check out printed reefs products for yourself, the best way to do that is go to printedreef.com and you'll be able to see the wide range of products that they have to offer from their uh, sand stands to their rock holders uh, to their mushroom cages their bristle worm trap and a whole lot more so go ahead check them out printed reef be sure to follow them over on instagram as well and i'll see you next time here on the coral reef talk